to this chair yoga uh, segment and also thank uh, Open Your Heart Foundation uh, for this opportunity to share chair yoga. And we're going to do a little bit of meditation as well. So if you have a chair, you can have a seat. We are going to be doing some exercises, some yoga stretches in the chair, but we're also going to be using the chair as a prop. So we will be getting up throughout this practice. First of all, I would also like to just share a little bit about yoga. Uh, if you've never tried yoga before, chair yoga is a great way to ease into yoga with, um, with minimum commitment. And uh, it's a great way to just kind of stretch your body and get you accustomed to yoga. All right. So we're going to start just with some breath work. So you can sit in your chair. I would suggest that you come to sit at the edge of your chair with your feet planted in the floor. And you can rest your hands on the tops of your legs. Do a little toe tap. Feel the floor beneath you. Begin to lengthen up through your spine. Using those back muscles, lift your shoulders up towards your ears and slide them down the back of your body. And if you feel safe and comfortable, you can join me as you close your eyes or you can take a soft gaze. Take a deep inhale and breath in through your nose and slowly out through your mouth. Beautiful. Let's do that a few more times. Deep inhaling breath. Slow releasing breath. Now this last time, make it a little bit slower, filling your belly, lungs, and chest. Breathe in and let it out. And so as you continue to breathe, we'll do a brief body scan, turning your attention inward and just begin to move from the thinking mind down into your body where you can feel and experience your body and the various sensations. So begin to draw your awareness to your shoulders and your neck. And if it helps, you can kind of just move your shoulders a bit. Just notice how you feel without any judgment. You may feel nice and relaxed. Or you may feel tight or tense or a number of things. Just begin to notice and begin to bring that awareness down into your hips and your legs. You may have been sitting all day or maybe you've been on your feet. And so just notice how you feel in the lower part of your body, all the way down to your toes. And from this place of awareness, begin to place your hands over your heart as we set an intention for this evening practice, what we hope to learn about ourselves, what we hope to release as we prepare for rest this evening. If there's any burden or heaviness on your mind or your heart, begin to release it through a breath prayer. And when you're ready, begin to open up your eyes with a smile as we begin to now add physical movement to the practice. The basis of yoga really is the breath. And I tell people, if you can breathe, you can do yoga. And we're going to prove that this evening with our practice. So as you come to sit on the edge of your chair, feet right underneath your knees, we're going to start with some very basic stretches that are good for your spine and for your entire body. As you inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Palms touch overhead and exhale, guide your hands into your heart. We'll do that two more times. Deep inhale and breath. Really rotate your shoulders as you lift your arms all the way up. Lifting up out of your waistline, bring your palms to touch and exhale to your heart. Connecting the movement with the breath. One more time, deep inhale and breath. This time, lift your chin. Looking up at your hands and exhale, guide them down as you lower your eyes. Beautiful. As you inhale, bring your arms to T position. 
And we're going to lean our body to the right side, just like airplane arms. You can rest your right hand on the side of your chair as you continue to extend your arm all the way up alongside your ear. Continue to root down through your feet as you gently open up your side body. Keeping your face nice and soft as you breathe in and as you breathe out. As you inhale, slowly make your way back to center. Arms out in a T position. As you exhale, slowly begin to lean to your left. And you can rest your hand on the side of your chair for support. Continue to reach, reach, extending from your armpit up into your elbow, out through your fingers. See if you can lean a little bit more, leaning your arm closer towards your ear. If that's not possible, that's okay. Just work where you are. Deep inhaling breath. And a slow releasing breath as you return back to center, palms face forward, and slowly begin to guide your hands right in front of you. Interlace your fingers and turn your palms away from you as you draw in chin to chest. Opening up the back of your body. Inhale, arms up. Continue to keep the fingers interlaced, stretching your palms and your fingers. Exhale, release into cactus arms. Bend your elbows, guide them down towards your waist. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind you. Beautiful. And exhale, release. We're going to do that two more times. Arms back at T position. Deep inhaling breath. Exhale, slowly draw your palms together in front of you. Interlace. Turn your palms away as you draw chin into your chest, round down through your shoulders. Inhale, slowly make your way up. Palms extend towards the ceiling, open heart. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus arms. This time, lift your chin, open up. Lift your heart. Squeeze behind you and exhale, release. That brings like a little energy to the body, but not too much because we're preparing for rest this evening. Last time, slowly come back to T position, palms face forward, slowly begin to draw your palms together, keeping your arms nice and activated. Interlace your fingers, press away, chin into chest. Inhale, rise up with a smile this time. Keeping those arms nice and activated. Exhale, release into cactus arms, elbows down, lifting your heart and your chin. And exhale, release. You should feel some movement, maybe some, some heat and warmth building in your shoulders. And so we'll continue to work here with the shoulders. Begin to just make circles, just like we did in gym class, nothing fancy making the circles as big as you like, and then begin to rotate in the opposite direction. A lot of people feel like yoga is really good for tight hips and hamstrings, but I found that a lot of people don't realize how tight they are in their upper back and their shoulders. And so we wanna explore that this evening. Now begin to bring your hands to the tops of your shoulders as you rotate your elbows, making circles. Hopefully you're still with me. And begin to reverse your rotation. Noticing if there's any tightness or stiffness, just take this opportunity, just kind of work it out. It doesn't mean push harder, but allow yourself to breathe through it. And then we're gonna slowly release the arms. Give them a nice little shake. And from here, we'll begin to move to the lower part of the body for a moment. So if you're still sitting on the edge of your seat, begin to lean back. And if you're able, bring your right knee into your chest. You can interlace your fingers on the tops of your shin. Just begin to rock your hips a little bit side to side. If you're able to make a circle with your knee, do that. 
Just kind of noticing how you feel in your hips. And then begin to make circles in the opposite direction. Making sure that you're breathing with these rotations. And now we'll begin to cross the right leg over the left. You can sit back in your chair a little bit more if you'd like. I have a high chair, so my foot doesn't reach the floor. And begin to place your hand on the side of your left knee. Inhale, extend your right arm up. And exhale, take a twist. Just begin to roll that shoulder back. And continue to draw your knee over to the left side. Now, if you want to just rest your arm on the back of the chair, you can do that as well, or you can keep your arm up. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, gently come out of your twist. And now keeping your legs crossed, begin to bring your ankle to the top of your left thigh. Feel free to come back to the edge of your chair and you're creating like a 90 degree angle with your leg. As you inhale, lengthen through your spine. And if you feel the stretch on your right hip, you can stay right here, or you can begin to gently fold over your leg if that feels okay. Only go to a point where you feel the stretch. You don't have to force yourself to do anything. We wanna bring focus, awareness, and attention to our breathing. We're going to take three deep breaths here, breathing in on three. Relaxing our minds on two. Releasing any burdens that we picked up on one. Beautiful. As you inhale, slowly begin to rise up. Uncross your leg, and we're going to do that same sequence on the other side. Now, sometimes you may feel like, oh, I'm good on both sides, but notice any subtle changes or differences with your right side versus your left. So as you lean back, begin to guide your left knee into your chest and begin to make circles. Just notice how you feel in your hip joint. And then begin to rotate in the opposite direction. And from here, we're going to go into our twist once again. Cross the left leg over the right. You can come to sit back into the chair a little bit more. As you inhale, begin to place your right hand on the side of your knee, extend your left arm up, exhale, twist to your left, maybe rest your hand on the back of the chair, continue to roll your left shoulder back as you guide your knee to the right. Now with twists, for some reason, we sometimes place the emphasis on the head and the neck. And so this is a spinal twist. So envision your entire spine gently revolving and twisting, bringing attention to your navel, feel your chest gently twisting along with your shoulders. And then finally, bring your head along for the ride along with your neck. Keeping your eyes nice and soft, or you can close your eyes. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, gently come out of that twist as we prepare for our next stretch. Coming to the edge of the chair, now begin to bring your ankle to the top of your right thigh. Notice how that feels. Decide if you want to lean forward or you just want to stay upright. The choice is totally yours. You know your body better than anyone else. 
as you take a deep breath in, as you exhale, continue to stay upright or feel free to lean forward, maybe test the waters a little bit. Leading with your heart, keeping your spine nice and long. And from here, we'll take three deep breaths. Breathing in on three. Feeling a sense of calm in our hearts on two. And surrendering on one. As you inhale, slowly come all the way back up and gently uncross your leg. Beautiful. From here, we're going to take our legs out to the side so that you're gonna to have to kind of come to the edge of your chair or your seat in order to come to a nice wide stance with your toes facing out. We're just gonna to begin to open up the hips a little bit in a gentle way. Simply bring your left forearm down and use your elbow to press your knee away as you twist to look to your right. And you can use your right hand for support on your right leg. Continue to press down through your feet and press your knee apart. Inhale, slowly come back up through center. And exhale, bring your right forearm down to your inner right thigh and press down as you gently twist to your left. Relax your head and your neck. As you breathe, feel yourself getting deeper into your body. Not trying to analyze the pose, but simply enjoying the practice. As you inhale slowly, begin to come out of that twist, both hands towards like your inner thighs. And if you're able to press down into your feet and lift your seat off of the chair, and let's just practice just a little bit of a yoga squat. So knees over your ankles, your chair and your seat is right behind you there for support. So if you need to keep your seat on the chair, feel free to continue to do that. We just wanna bring a little activity to the legs. Breathe in, breathe out. Now begin to place your seat back into the chair, bring your legs together sit back into your chair a little bit and begin to point your toes you may not be able to see mine i'll lift them up and begin to flex and point and flex point and flex and point and flex awesome so with your hands on either side of your chair your seat for support begin to kick out with your right leg and kick out with your left as you bring your right leg in, alternating, breathing in nice and easy. Now, if you wanna get fancy, when you kick out, you flex and your opposite foot points. One more round. And relax your legs. From here, we're gonna to come to stand. And whatever type of chair that you have, you can either place the seat of the chair in front of you or the back of the chair in front of you. So I'm a little bit taller. I'm gonna place the back of the chair in front of me because it has a little bit more height. And we're gonna get a nice inversion in and back stretch. So using the chair for support. So downward facing dog. Place your hands on your chair and begin to walk your legs back. 
Once you walk your legs back, begin to slowly melt your chest down in between your arms. Do you feel a nice stretch in your calf muscles? A nice opening in your upper back, in your shoulders. Continue to extend your hips back and notice where you feel the stretch. And we're gonna be here for three deep breaths, relaxing your head down, breathe in on three. Pressing down into your feet on two. Breathing with ease on one. As you inhale, lift your gaze and look to the back of your chair and you're gonna step your right foot forward. Just like that. Your left leg is still back and you're holding on to your chair but not holding on for dear life, just for a little bit of support bringing a little bit of energy to the lower half of the body. Begin to trust yourself as you lift your heart and your chest for a little lunge. Inhale, and as you exhale, begin to slowly dip your back knee towards the mat. Don't let it come all the way down and then slowly press all the way back up. Good, take your time, inhale, Exhale, gently lower, front knee and back knee bends, and then slowly bring it back up. Using your breath, last time, deep inhaling breath. Exhale, gently begin to lower down and come all the way back up, strengthening those knee joints and stretching your calf muscle. From here, begin to step your opposite leg forward. Now we come to face both feet in front of your, your chair. Take a deep inhaling breath, extend your arms up, and exhale, bring them down by your side. Now we turn so that the chair is to our right. And as we stand, just like we did when we were seated, we now begin a standing side stretch with your hands on the chair for support. We're gonna cross the right leg over, or the right leg and ankle over the left. Make sure that you have some balance. It doesn't have to be a tight cross. Inhale, extend your left arm up, and exhale, lean your body towards the chair. This may get a little bit of deeper in your side body, same thing that we did when we were seated. Feel the weight and the gravity drawing you over towards the chair. And then inhale, slowly come all the way back up and gently uncross your leg. Awesome. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So you can kind of move the chair over to the other side. Let's do that same sequence, starting first with our downward facing dog. Hand on the back of your chair, walking your feet all the way back. And slowly begin to shift your hips back as you lower your torso down in between your arms. And make sure that your feet are more than hip width distance apart so you can have a nice wide stance. Try not to lock out your knees. Gaze down in between your feet. Feel that stretch right underneath your armpits and breathe into it. One more deep inhaling breath on two. And a slow release on one. Awesome, as you inhale, look forward, and this time step your left foot forward. 
with your hand on the chair. Now, if you found like, I don't really need the chair, Sherelle, then you don't have to. You can place your hands on your hips, but that's going to just require a little bit more balance and core work. All right. So you decide what works for you. As you inhale, press down through your feet. Exhale, bend your front and back knee. You're almost bringing your knee all the way down to the mat, and then you come all the way back up. Both legs straighten. Deep inhaling breath. Exhale, lower, 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 almost to the bottom, and come all the way back up. Making sure you engage your core. Deep inhaling breath. Exhale, slowly bend into both knees, nice long spine, and then slowly bring it all the way back up. Awesome. Back leg comes forward. Both feet together. Inhale. Slowly reach the arms all the way up. And then exhale. Bring it down as you turn to the side. This time your right hand goes into the side of the chair. And cross your left leg over your right. As you inhale, extend your right arm up and exhale, begin to slowly lean towards the chair. Make sure that your crossing isn't so tight that you roll onto the edge of your foot. So make sure both feet are still planted, keeping your face soft. Feel where the stretch is coming from and breathe. Inhale, slowly come all the way back up. And exhale, release and gently uncross. Give your knees a nice little bend side to side. And now we're going to come back to sit into our chair. We have literally taken our spine through full range of motion with forward bends, side bends, and twists. And that is really what keeps our spine healthy. So when you don't know what to do, think about these very simple stretches that we did today. Bending your back, forward and back, side bends, and twists, even if you're sitting at a desk all day. And so with that, now we're going to end with a little bit of meditation, or as I like to call, just a gentle pause to allow full integration of the movement practice to settle not only in our bodies, but also in our hearts and our minds. So you can sit all the way back in your seat. Relax your legs and your arms. And with your eyes open or closed, let's take the journey in on the other side of our practice as we come to the end. Notice the flow and the quality of your breath. No need to try to change it, just simply notice. And notice maybe what has opened up for you, not only in your body, but also in your mind where there was once tightness, maybe there's a little bit more space. And just take these next few moments to just savor the breath, this beautiful gift of life that allows us to move forward in our purpose, flowing from the heart. And if you feel comfortable, join me in a brief affirmation as we come to the end of our meditation, placing one hand over your heart and the other hand over your belly. Feel free to repeat this aloud or in the silence of your mind. My heart is open. My heart is open. And just allow that to settle.
in the last part of this affirmation, my heart is open and I'm ready to receive. My heart is open and I'm ready to receive. My heart is open and I'm ready to receive. begin to place both hands over your heart as you draw your chin down towards your chest truly believing that your heart is open and you're ready to receive receiving not only love and compassion but the gift of health and well-being not only for you but for your loved ones your family and your community when you're ready, begin to lift your head, open up your eyes, sweep your arms up in our circle of joy, drawing all those blessings from above and guide them down into your heart where they remain rooted and bring forth fruits for all of us to enjoy. Thank you all so much. Peace and blessings. Thank you so much, Sherelle. You're welcome. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye-bye.